Okay, so the other day when I picked up my new bike from Utah Mountain Biking, the guy there, Mike, said, hey, maybe maybe these grips will work. We'll just send you with these grips, but they not, might not be that great. And so he was right. The bike is amazing. The grips were not amazing. So I had ridden my friend's bike the other day and felt his grips. They're super soft and chunky ESI grips. So I just ordered and received in the mail from Amazon some of these ESI grips. I got red. I don't know if red's gonna, it's got the accent on the bike of red. So maybe red's a little overkill, but we're gonna try these out. Um, I'll try putting these grips on and let you know what I think about them. <laughs> Okay, so now that I've got my old grips off, um, I'm gonna pull out the end caps. If you notice here, the instruction shows that you can just pop in the end cap like that, or you can cut it like in a triangle shape, fit better. And when I tried this, it didn't really fit very good. So I'm gonna just cut, cut a little triangle on this. So uh, you're supposed to put the caps on first. Okay, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna make sure that the logo is kinda horizontal. Okay, and next, put my thumb over this, pour some alcohol in here, shake it around, and then pour it on the bar. Just slide them on. And kind of bring it back to right where I want it. And I think that'll work. ESI grips installed. Now I'll just let them dry and then we'll go for a ride. And Try them out, see how they feel. They actually feel really good right now. So I wonder if my friend had the extra chunky ones though, because these don't, don't feel quite as soft or as thick as his. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Got the new grips on. Hello. All right, going down Jacob's ladder. Dang, that was crazy. I rode that out on my butt. Well, these ESI grips are amazing, both on the climb and on the downhill. So much more cush. Love it.
never hit that before. Ooh, blinding. I didn't know about that little gap to the left. Oh, the, yeah. oh sweet. It is. You gotta, in the summer, man, you gotta be careful because sometimes that sand gets like really soft. Oh yeah. And you land and it tries to kill you. <laughs> so the climbing was great with these grips. I really like how they feel when I'm climbing. And coming down through all the chunk, these were great. Then I came down Rush, which is like a really curvy kind of flow trail. And they did really good on there. I started to feel a little bit of wearying of the hands as I came down that, um, but it wasn't bad. It was so much better than my other grips. But then I came down Levitate, which is just a bunch of tabletop jumps coming down this big hill. Uh, flow with tabletop. So jump after jump after jump, and these felt really good on that. No, no hand tiring at all. So it was probably just because the long ride started to get kind of tired coming down um, Rush but I love these. I think when I get my next ones, I'm gonna get the, the chunkier ones. I think there's like an extra chunky, it's like peanut butter or something, I don't know. I definitely recommend them. Uh, they are awesome. Okay, I just wanted to make a quick update after riding these for uh, a couple of weeks in some lots of different terrain, in, including some crashes. And you can see that, you know, there's a little damage and the, they probably will fall apart a lot faster than, than those other grips that I had on there, but they're definitely way more comfortable. And you know, for $16, I'm just gonna buy another pair because I really like how my hands feel when I ride with these. So anyway, just wanted to let you know what will happen after a while of, of using these grips. This one doesn't look as bad um, because I didn't crash on it. But anyway, you can kind of still see that it's, it's getting a little wear, but it's worth it, I think. ESI Grips, I recommend that you check them out. And thanks for watching the channel. If you uh, like the channel, if you like learning about new bike things or watching writing or all that stuff, I hope that you'll click on the subscribe button and follow along, click the bell too, so that way you can kind of be notified when I put new videos out. Thanks so much for watching.